In my next on-location interview at Numinous Bioscience, I chat with Sharon Sudu, the company's CSO and the general manager of the lab. Check it out. So I'm here with Sharon Sudu, the Chief Science Officer at New Minus Bioscience. She's also the General Manager of the lab. Thank you so much for having us here, Sharon. I'm really excited to take a tour soon. Um, before we get into that, though, I'd like to ask, what happens at New Minus Bioscience? What sort of activities do you guys take on in the lab? Yeah, so our focus is very much based on uh, psychedelic um, compounds and psychedelic mushrooms. Um, and we are looking into doing more research on other psychedelic uh, botanical materials, uh, moving forward, opening up our scope of research. Uh, we do a lot of R&D on, like I said, the mushrooms. We do a lot of uh, research and development in uh, mycelium and mycelium products, as well as uh, testing. So uh, developing validated methods uh, for analytical testing, as well as microbial testing, mm -hmm. as well as genomic testing, uh, bioassay testing. And we also do formulation studies and look at developing products that are stable and efficiently delivered. Hmm, very cool. So I wanted to ask a little bit about the uh, psilocybin products you're working with. Mm -hmm. um, you're specifically working with natural over synthetic psilocybin, is that yes. correct? Yes, we are. Okay. Yeah. And why is that? Is there a, what's the reason for the preference there? We believe that the whole mushroom and extracts derived from the whole mushroom contain uh, synergistic compounds that would work in conjunction with the psilocin, which is the bioactive compound, uh, to create a more holistic and therapeutic effect. Right? Mm. So we can't just consider psilocybin um, as the only compound that actually uh, works towards getting the therapeutic effect and work towards getting a, um, an experience that could deliver a therapy at the end of it. Mm -hmm. so. Are you focusing on any specific species uh, here at Numinous? Uh, so our focus is on psilocybe, right? So psilocybe is a psilocybin-containing species and has has it's easily grown. Um, it is one of the ones that you know Oregon is looking at uh, hmm. to use yes. to use there, um, and it kind of makes sense for us to develop the strains from that. So within the psychedelic space, we see some really interesting patent strategies. Tell me a little bit about Numinous' patent strategy and how it differs from other companies. Yeah, so our patent strategy, we have a couple of things that we're working on. Again, we do have uh, our patent pending technology that has been submitted to the U.S. Patent Office. And that is very much based on efficiency of methods, right? So, um, you know, more sustainable, more efficiency and meeting the label claims, so what we call, what we would say would be regulatory confidence, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we want to make sure that uh, we keep an eye on accessibility and reduce the cost of producing these products. So that's all going to be in the efficiency of methods, right? Okay. Uh, so that's where our first, first step into uh, our first strategy is. The second strategy, again, is efficiency on delivery methods, right? So how do we deliver these products to make the uh, therapy more effective and more efficient. Okay, so does right. that do you mean by like I, I know some companies are mm -hmm. developing like patches that you can put on your skin or yeah. nasal sprays, that kind of thing, correct? We're talking about being able to have the same effect with less product. Gotcha. Right. Okay. So if we look at bioavailability, how can mm -hmm. we increase bioavailability? So we're actually using less of the product, right? Again, mm -hmm. keeping an eye on accessibility and the cost per unit. Gotcha. Yeah. Can you tell the, our viewers a little bit about what bioavailability means? Like how much of your product, so how much of the bioactive ingredient mm -hmm. or ingredients in this case are available, right? Mm -hmm. So a typical dose um, that's used for clinical therapy is 25 milligrams of psilocybin. 50% mm -hmm. of that um, almost converted to psilocin. And then 50% of that is what's bioavailable, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Uh, and these are, you know, these are estimated numbers. Um, how can we get it to a point where we have to use less of the, the, the starting product, less mm. of the psilocybin um, to get to that effect, right? Okay. And that essentially all ladders up, all ladders down into the unit cost. Okay, yeah. I see. So one thing I wanted to jump to, which I think is really exciting, um, Numinous has been named an approved supplier for the special access program. Uh, what does that role entail? What does it yeah. look like? And how, you know, how does that work? Being an approved supplier, so it's it's that's I think it's a little bit of a misnomer. Okay. It's because we have a controlled drugs and substances gotcha. license, mm -hmm. and on our controlled drugs and substances license, we can produce psilocybin, right? Mm -hmm. So the approval is actually at the licensing stage, yes. right? Not just for SAP mm -hmm. or you know a supplier of materials. 
So um, on that approval under the Controlled Drugs and Substances Licence, we then have the activity of production of psilocybin and psilocin. Now, we do not produce pure psilocybin and psilocin. What we do produce is psychedelic mushrooms, psilocybe mushrooms in particular, mm -hmm. which contain the active constituent, which is essentially how that kind of works with um, SAP and being their supplier under the SAP program. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So I wanted to ask also about um, the compound that you've developed, NBio01. Um, what is it? What does it look like? Yeah. How is it made? So NBio01 is actually the formulation. Okay. So it's the it would be the drug, the generic drug name, essentially, gotcha. if we were comparing it to a typical drug mm -hmm. product. It would be the generic drug name for a proprietary formulation, which has been developed from an extract uh, that again has been derived from a patent pending technology. Okay. So uh, that formulation is the patent pending technology is basically based on production of materials from uh, psilocybe mushroom mycelium as mm -hmm. opposed to the fruiting body itself. And again, we're talking about efficiency of production, uh, taking out a number of different steps. And then that formulation, again, you know, we have put it into the formulation essentially has been developed to increase bioavailability, right? Okay. So hopefully the results of this trial will show what we are hoping that it shows um, and that the bioavailability has been increased of the psilocin. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to use as much product. Awesome. So yeah. that's touching on what you, you were explaining to me earlier. Very cool. So Sharon, I would love to know what we're going to be seeing in the lab. Can you tell me about a few of the things that we're going to be seeing? Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll start off with the, showing you where the process starts. So okay. in the tissue culture lab. And the tissue culture lab, you'll see some spore prints. You'll see uh, the process of developing parental cell lines. Mm. Um, and then you'll see some grain jars with mycelium uh, cultivation, the beginnings of mycelium cultivation. Uh, that will then be uh, going into the fruiting chambers. Wow. Um, unfortunately, we can't go into the fruiting chambers, but you will be able to see some of the mushrooms. So we'll bring out a tub for you to, to mm. have a look at. Um, we'll also be looking at some formulation work today. So there'll be some extractions going on. And I think we have some capsules being produced today as well. Um, and then some dissolution studies um, that are going on as well in the lab. Um, and then we'll show you the analytical room and all the uh, fun stuff that goes on in there. Incredible. Thank you so much. It's uh, great to finally put some visuals to all the things we've been talking about. Cheers. Yes. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment and subscribe because we've got more interviews and footage from this trip to Numinous coming soon.